Let's talk about vibration therapy used in conjunction with traditional complete decongestive therapy for lymphedema treatment. I found a study, addition of vibration to simple lymphatic drainage in the management of breast cancer related lymphedema, a randomized controlled crossover pilot study. This study was published in the Journal of Society of Nursing Practice in 2012. It was performed by Dr. Dai and team in Japan. Now this was a very small study consisting of only 12 participants. This study was looking at patient usage of simple lymphatic drainage, which can also be termed as self lymphatic drainage for the purposes of this study only. So patients were to perform simple lymphatic drainage on themselves, and there was no specific protocol that was used for the simple lymphatic drainage. It's interesting that they discussed that some patients performed 10 minutes while other patients performed 15 minutes. Now patients were performing either this self lymphatic drainage alone, or they were, or they were performing simple lymphatic drainage with the addition of vibration therapy. Now the vibration therapy was performed for 15 minutes each at a specific setting of 0.4 meters per second squared with a frequency of 47 Hertz and a horizontal acceleration of 1.78 meters per second squared. All vibrations were limited to this amount, although they could be altered a little bit. So patients first performed the simple lymphatic drainage, and then that was immediately followed by 15 minutes of use on the vibrator or vibration plate where the patient would place the affected limb on top of the vibration plate with a foam padding layer in between for patient's comfort. So there was no use of muscle activation or muscle pump activity to alter the results of this study. If patients performed either simple lymphatic drainage or simple lymphatic drainage with vibration therapy, they both underwent the same amount of treatments had a washout period and then performed the other treatment that they didn't perform the first time. The researchers were able to conclude that the addition of vibration therapy in conjunction with simple lymphatic drainage provided superior girth reduction in affected patients. Another interesting study I found is called the effects of vibration therapy in the musculoskeletal system in post-surgical breast cancer women, a longitudinal controlled clinical study. This was published in the Journal of Research on Biomedical Engineering in 2016. And the study was published by Dr. Mendez and team. So the goal of this study was not to look at vibration and lymphedema, but was looking at effects on pain, strength, range of motion, etc. Now this was another small study consisting of only 14 women and vibration was utilized via a vibration blanket that was designed specifically for this study. And the vibrations that were produced equaled 40 Hertz. Patients utilized this vibration blanket for 15 minute sessions, 10 times. Interestingly enough, the study concluded that there was over a 70% reduction of pain. There were improvements in range of motion, improvements in strength, and there were improvements in muscular contractions at the completion of this trial. Results were also looked at three months later, and while levels of pain did go up a little bit, they were still not at pre-baseline levels. My feeling on this is that if a patient with breast cancer-related lymphedema can tolerate vibration therapy and get a less painful, more effective muscle contraction that will further help in the treatment of lymphedema. So not a direct study, but a correlation I think that is worthy of noting. As with any other medical treatment, the use of an additional modality for the treatment of lymphedema should always be discussed with your own personal team. My name is Lisa Berman Silvestri. I'm a physical therapist and a certified lymphedema therapist, and my goal is to make us all lymph smart.